heroes who have seven wounds carved into their hearts. Neither fear nor despair exist for thee. What thou hast is courage, pride, and camaraderie. Fate wrought havoc upon us, and for a time we gave up on life. But henceforth, let us indeed be grateful to our destinies. For allowing us to make a valiant last stand for a beloved friend. Eskinor's back! And we just so happen to have one more piece of bad news that just came in for you. What? It's now high noon. Poor impudent demon king. Did you say poor impudent? This has been a long time coming. I never knew there was a human who could manage to hold his own against me as an equal. That said, you must understand that you still cannot win. You've run out of time. My friend, I can finally fulfill my promise. This life I almost abandoned. The one you saved, I'm going to devote it to my precious friends. I think he's... he's planning on burning up the remainder of his life! to interfere with me. I should be asking you what the heck you're doing, idiot! Step aside. If that's what you want me to do, then you're gonna have to make me. I... I didn't invite you into the Seven Deadly Sins so you could act like some kind of rampaging monster! It wasn't exactly an easy time for me. Over and over and over again. I'd get clobbered by you and had the living daylights beaten out of me. You were presumptuous enough to risk your tiny body to teach me. You'd endanger yourself to try and help me learn how to command sunshine. You had boldly dared to give me a place to belong when I was utterly alone. 
Not only did you make me feel useful, you also made me feel wanted. Do you have any idea? Any idea at all how happy that had made me?
Well, my friends, everyone is waiting for you. What do you mean, for us? You're coming too, aren't you? Yeah, she's right. You can't just stand there forever. You should come along with us. I'm sorry. My body won't move anymore. It looks like this is it for me. Even so, I have not one regret with my life. Thank you for being a huge part of it, all of you. Gother, I... I've always enjoyed our talks immensely. King, Dian, I'm sorry that I won't be able to attend your wedding, but I wish you nothing but happiness. <laughs> Lady Elizabeth, please pass along my very best to His Majesty, Hendy, and the others. Sir Mael, thank you for taking care of us to the very end. Bon, try not to drink too much. Captain, I owe my life to you. You're my very best friend. loved you, and I know that it's not simply because you remind me so much of Rosa. You never saw me as an outsider, or treated me any different than anyone else. You give me too much credit. I'm an observer. How do you know I wasn't spending time with you just because I thought you were an interesting specimen to study? Even if that's all it was, I'm still happy. As long as it meant that as your subject, I got to take up a little corner of your heart. Too late. It's too late for anything now. We can't turn back time. Eskinor, I wish you would have found me much sooner in my life. 3,000 years sooner, even. We'll be there no matter what, I have been and will always be on your side. No matter what you decide to do, or what kind of sins you commit. Are you saying you know? Not at all. It's just a hunch. The day we met, there's something that I noticed. You've always had the deepest, saddest eyes. <laughs> it looks like my time is almost up. Eskinor, please! <laughs> Take care, everyone. Thank you for everything. This could get dangerous, so please keep your distance. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be right here. To say goodbye. Farewell forever, Lady Merlin. It's dangerous. Stay back.
sleep well.